Hello and welcome to another interview. Today we're joined by Daniel Lima, also known as Riot, and I've got with me Nelson again, also known as Masmora, and we're going to be interviewing Daniel about AOC and his life, and that's all in the run-up to the Top Experts League. Yeah, thanks Riot for accepting our invitation. This is indeed a very special guest. Uh, it's pretty much his first interview on Skype that he has ever given, so we all should be very proud and happy that he has uh, given us this chance. Hey, Riot, would you care to say hi? Hello, guys. It's a pleasure to make this interview for you guys about the expert league that it's coming. Thank you that you accept the invitation. Um, we will just uh, start to ask you a few questions about your life. I mean, I would just like to know what do you do for a living? <laughs> do you still go to school? Are you in a college? Do you work? What's, uh, what, what's, what's up right now by, with you? Yeah, uh, I work sometimes. Some days they, they call me and I help in the college. It's just some work, not that big deal. And about, I'm, I'm doing university now. I'm doing chemistry engineering. Whoa! I started. I started this year. Oh, it sounds really complicated. Chemistry and engineering. Um, yeah. Where do you live, actually? I'm, I'm from São Paulo. Oh, São Paulo, yeah, big Brazilian city, very big. How big is it? Like twenty million or something? Yeah, it's like that. It's really big. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, what are your your hobbies? I mean, besides AOC, do you like to do sports um, or whatever? Yeah, I play soccer and I, I fight jiu-jitsu. I don't know if you guys know about oh, that. Yeah. Jiu-jitsu, well. Wow. And oh. I don't know. I think uh, Age of Empires is also a hobby, so I was included in that. Yeah, it's obviously also a hobby for us. Can you explain a little bit what exactly is uh, jiu-jitsu? It's like a fighting um, sport, right? I'm not uh, too familiar. Yeah. It's underground underground fighting, you know. You you don't you don't how can I say hit with your hands. You just use some tricks and and do arm locks, etc. Uh -huh. I don't know how to say it really. Yeah, I, I think I understand what you mean. Is it like using their body weight against them? Yeah. To try and exactly. flip them over and things. Uh-huh. It sounds really cool. Sounds really cool, yeah. And um, I'm not sure if I asked you already, you are 20 years old, right? Yeah, I'm, I am 20 years old. 20 years old. Yeah, and about sports, uh, you, you said you play football too. Or, um, how often do you do that in the week? Is something you do a lot or just one or two times a week? Yeah, it's like one, two times a week. I am goalkeeper, you know. Oh, you are a goalkeeper, right? <laughs> yeah. You're probably a big guy. Are you a big guy? Uh, not really. <laughs> not not that big. It's like uh, it's not soccer. I mean, it's futsal. I don't know the name in English. Is, is it like five aside? Yeah, yeah. You don't have to be that big for being it's goalkeeper futsal. in this. You mean it's futsal? Yeah, futsal. Okay, so it's like five against five, not eleven against eleven. Exactly. Okay, I see. So it's played in this uh, in the hole. It's not played on the outside. And it's um, a lot faster, right? It's a lot faster than uh, usual. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It I seems think... like all the top players play football. Maybe I should start playing football and I'd get better Age of Empires as well. Yeah, maybe I'll get an. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and you only started now with the college. So um, when will you be uh, over with it? I mean, uh, about when will you be over with your college? Oh, I will be in five years because I started this year. Okay, so it's six years. Okay, so a long, yeah. long, long uh, college. Yeah, and yeah, it's hard. How excited are you about the World Championship that it's coming to Brazil next year? <laughs> oh, I, I really want to see how it's gonna be. I think <laughs> it's gonna be great. <laughs> I you, mean, are you gonna? I, I really, I really want to go to the stadium. You know. Wait, is it uh, easy to get tickets? Or is it not? Hard? Not really. It, it's really hard to get tickets. Yeah. Okay. I can imagine. <laughs> is Brazil going to play in São Paulo? Yes, it's going. Okay, that's really cool. It's really cool. I hope I can see my team playing. That'd uh -huh. be an amazing game. 
Uh-huh. <laughs> I would love to see that as well, but obviously flying out to Brazil would be a little bit too much. Mm, yeah, <laughs> I think you won't. You wouldn't get any tickets at this moment, probably, unless you really live in Brazil and you. Yeah, probably. Easier. So it's I went. Hard to... to find. No, sorry, you can. Sorry, I was going to say I was wondering what other games you played aside from Age of Empires, or is Age of Empires pretty much it? I played also uh, Counter Strike, uh, Age of nice. Empires three. Oh, the third one. Uh-huh. And I think. Ah, oh, chess. I play chess also. You want chess. to play chess? Nice. Think, yes. Uh, we also have like uh, I think FedEx, isn't it? He's also like a grandmaster in chess. Yeah, he's he's so great. I I'm his fan. <laughs> <laughs> and have you played chess against him? <laughs> yeah, I lost like ten times easy. He's too strong. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, cool. So, are you quite um, high ranked at chess, or do you just play for fun? Uh, I play for fun. Um, years ago, I played for years, like two, like for two years, but now I just play for fun. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's yeah. something I see a lot in Age of Empires players as well. To be honest with you, people who play chess often end up playing really well at Age of Empires. Do you think there's actually a link there between the strategy that you get from playing chess, for instance, and the strategy that you sort of get from playing Age of Empires? Actually, I do. Uh, chess is very, very uh, strategic game and age it's also a strategy game uh, besides the fact that you need to be fast and have a good micro strategy is in every game you know yeah definitely and just to defend the, this um, this uh, rule which many people are against in chess there is no laming right yeah, <laughs> you no, can't no. really lame in chess. Yeah, so that's that's we are going to make AOC a little bit closer to to chess by um, deleting this lane. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, I've got a quick question about Age of Empires three. I didn't actually know that you played Age of Empires three. Were you good at that, or was that something that you just played for fun again? Actually, I was like um, eighteen more as. Uh, Age of Empires 2 and I, I went to Age of Empires 3 and and I got a really really good level I was like top 10 that shit. Wow. and we I, I remember losing versus Grant he was a great player there and uh, I I become good there and later I back to Aok and get and I get stronger you know mm -hmm. I got strong. but now you play better AOC or uh, Age of Empires 3 no, AOC, I don't play Age of Empires 3 anymore for a long time. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, so I think we should ask you a little more about Age of Empires 2 now and uh, the upcoming tournaments and, of course, the Medieval Wars as well. Yeah, um, I have this question. It might be a strange question for you. Um, many people asked, why didn't you play with uh, uh, RVK? RBK. RBK, I mean... Uh, we all were expecting you to see there, and uh, you just uh, joined uh, the other um, clan. Uh, LOS. Um, yeah. Could you explain this to us? Yeah, sure. Uh, it was really hard to to play a hockey and and keep studying, you know. And my friends wanted to play with me, and I loved them, you know. And if I went to RVK, it would be really hard to play and study and play focus you know and now i have some time because i'm i'm on vacation right now so it's it's more it's more i can play i can practice much more now yeah. so it was a, a only matter of uh, lack of time you didn't have time enough to practice with uh, rvk i suppose exactly i see um one thing I'm curious about is your relationship with other players, Brazilian players in particular. What's your relationship with people like um, Fiege and Dogao like? Uh, Dogao, it's a friend since since old time. We played uh, Nations Cup together and become really, really good friends. And we, we still keep talking a lot. And it's a really, really good relationship that I have with him. Uh, Fiege also I I know him for a long long time. My my brother who also played Age of Empires was a big friend of him in one uh, one clan. So it's really good relationship that I have with them. I always wondered. I mean, 
Brazilians had so many top expert players, so many amazing players. Um, is that some kind of explanation for that? I mean, uh, I could say so many names right now from Dogon, PH, you, Miguel, um, I don't know how many more. Um, do you have an explanation for that? I don't think so. There, is, there are many players, Brazilian players, who, who play Age of Empires 2 for a long time. And yes, we, we have a really, really big Tian and strong Tian. I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, I guess if there was to be another Nations Cup, I think you would clearly be the favorite country. Yeah, you? definitely. Yeah. yeah. Alongside with, with China and Vietnam, probably. But still, a very, very strong, very, very strong country. Yeah. Exactly. I'd like to ask about the medieval wars before we talk a little bit more about the top experts league. Um, obviously, RBK versus Tyrants in the final. Who do you think is going to win that match? Uh, RBK is, is with such a great team. Uh, I like how Dog is playing with Chris and and Fish and Stark. They are really, really strong, but... They are fighting the best they have ever made, so it's kind of hard just to every cut to to win. So I think Tyrant uh, is gonna win pretty easy, I guess. Oh, pretty easy, even you think? Wow. Okay. I believe yes. Uh -huh. Um, do you think that uh, K Cap is the sort of black sheep on Tyrant? I mean, they have players like Viper, Jordan, Doubt, really huge experts. And many people see KCAB as a sort of uh, weakest link on Tyrant. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I, I have been talking with, with KCAB some days ago, and, and he's like a t teacher for them, you know. He, he, he teaches the other experts. He, he's so, so smart. It's, it's incredible. I can't really express what KCAB do in that, for that day on. And um, do you play AOC HD? Do you have the game? Sorry? The HD version from AOC, which came up a few months ago. Do you have that game? Have you played it? No, I didn't play it that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. uh, one thing to ask about the Top Experts League then. Uh, we asked Viper a similar question. Uh, just the pressure of playing in a 1v1 league with a few people, uh, obviously just being the four of you, is there a lot of pressure there for you to do well, or do you um, not get too nervous before tournaments like this? Well, I remember I was really in pressure when I played Master of Hans. It was my first big tournament and I lost to Dutch pretty easy for zero. Then Brain Champion Cup. Which you won. Comes. Yeah, and it, I get really, really stronger and confident, you know. And now I think it's, it's not that pressure anymore. I think it's going to be... Uh, I don't know how to say, but I, I think it's okay, because I think the, the pressure, the number one now is Viper, so <laughs> I'm, I'm not the currently number one, so it's fine for me, no pressure for me. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, so you want to put the pressure all on Viper so that you can't have any pressure. I think it's a good yeah, strategy. exactly. <laughs> strategy. Yeah. Sounds um, great. I mean, of course, the main thing uh, I was thinking when I organized this tournament was just to... Um, give good games, uh, really amazing games to the viewers. Yeah. Of course, I don't want any of you to have any kind of pressure. It's, it's not about that. It's just about having fun and uh, giving amazing uh, uh, games to the viewers, which I'm pretty sure you will do. Yeah, there are four amazing players, and I, I believe it's gonna, we're going to have really some good games there. Yeah. Uh, Jordan, Viper, me, and... Chris, just great players. I think there's going to be a lot of great games as well. But anyway, we've got to thank you very much for having you here today. And yeah, we're going to have you. to call the interview to an end right now. Yeah, so for my part, thank you very much, you, Riot, and you, Zach, for your collaboration with me. You have been really amazing, always uh, answering to my messages and always being available. And don't forget, guys, this is the second part of the interview. We are still going to interview Chris and Jordan. 
Um, and be sure to check uh, that website for the upcoming interviews. So that's all for me. I thank you all and bye. Yeah, unfortunately, Ritz has dropped out of the call, but uh, thank you to him as well for joining us and we'll see you later.